around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, the United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> This fellow could have picked a better place to get himself caught in. Yeah, it's pretty dry, all right. And we still got a three-day ride. Seems to me that sheriff could have brung him in without sending for us all the way to Dodge. Uh, the sheriff probably didn't fancy the trip either, Chester. Uh, this trip too tough for you boys? Too much for you to handle? Well, now, we can handle it all right, Hob. Don't you worry none about that. Never did like to see a man bite off more than he could chew. All right, now, just a minute. Don't you go thinking you're more than we can chew. a man chew. take on, so hey, what do you mean me to... feel bad. Real bad. I ain't All right, that's enough, Callum. Marshal, I was just saying I'm sorry for the fix here. There's only one thing about it that worries me. What's that? You're not worth it. He sure ain't. It's a pure waste caring for a murderer like him across these plains. Sure. To leave him here for the cows. Buzzards. Buzzard bait, that's all he... Hey, look yonder, Mr. Dillon. Some riders coming up over that rise there. Yeah, I see them. What they're doing way off here. Troopers. Train over this way, looks like. Now, let's hold up here. Lieutenant. Good morning. Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal out of Dodge City. Lieutenant Elridge, 6th Cavalry. Ah. Ah, you're a long way from a post, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, on our way from Fort Leavenworth to Fort Lyon. Ah. Uh-huh. Routine transfer, but uh, we wouldn't mind catching up with a certain runaway Indian while we're at it. Did he break out of the stockade at the fort? No. The word is he escaped from a reservation down south. He's heading back home to Nebraska. Well, what'd he do? Do? Uh... Did he kill somebody or rob the stores? No, no, but if it became known that a sub-chief made a successful escape, it'd be hard to keep any of them on the reservations. I see. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep an eye out for him, Marshal. His name's Blue Horse. Blue Horse, huh? Yeah, all right, Lieutenant. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Oh, uh, Marshal. Uh Uh-huh. Do you mind riding over here for a minute? Uh, Sure. Uh, Marshal, this is my first time west of Fort Leavenworth. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I, uh, I kind of figured that. Uh, yeah. Well, Marshal, I have, uh, maps, of course. But you wonder if, uh, you're on the right track, huh? Well, yes, to tell the truth, I do. <laughs> well, if I were you, Lieutenant, and this was my first time out, I think I'd just drop on down south to the Arkansas River. Yes, well, that's all. You just hit the Arkansas and follow it west. You couldn't miss Fort Lyon if you tried. Well, much obliged, Marshal. Uh, I'd have got there all right. Oh, sure, sure. I'm just giving you the easy way. Yeah. Well, we'll be on our way. Yeah. Coming in! Yes, At the walk! He sure is a young one, ain't he? Yeah. Well, there's one thing for sure. Yes, sir. There's only one way for him to grow, and that's older. Ah, come on. Let's get going. (laughs) 
That old political character, Elijah Cuddlestone, was tremendously proud to be a part of the government of the United States. That pride shows through in this excerpt of one of his speeches. And it, and it is my sincere belief, I say, I believe that the United States of America is without doubt, indisputably, the most successful experiment in democracy that is in democratic rule that the world has ever known. Well, democracy, of course, means rule of the people. It's from the Greek, demos, people, and kratos, meaning rule, strength, or power. Most forms of government owe their names to the Greek. For instance, anarchy is from the Greek word anarchia, composed of an, meaning no, and archos, ruler. An anarchist wants no king, emperor, or president above him. An oligarchy is a form of government where a restricted few have supreme power. Oligarchy comes from the Greek oligos, meaning few, and archo, which means rule, rule by a few. The Greek word the heroes meant holy, and the word hierarchy once meant a government by offices of the church. Hierarchy now represents a system of graded authority. And the strange word oclocracy means mob rule. In Greek, oklos means crowd or mob. Words like these literally make politics Greek to most of us. Toward sundown, Mr. Young. Uh, there'll be a watering place along here pretty soon. We'll stop for the night, huh? You mean you tough lawmen are going to stop and sleep like ordinary folks? Never you mind, Ken. You'll be lucky we don't just leave you tied on your horse all night. He'd be better company. All right, now you listen Chester. here. Chester. Very... Yes, sir, Mr. Young. Uh, look, why don't we head for that bunch of trees over there, huh? Come on. Sure. <laughs> bad? I don't know, sister. Where's Cannon? He's, he's right over there. Uh, well, get him off his horse. Yes, sir. Yes. All right, you, Cannon, climb down off that horse. Don't you try nothing now. That'd be just plum mean, wouldn't it? Marshal Hurt and all. I'm not hurt too bad to use a gun, Cannon. You remember that. Chester, see if you can get me on my feet, huh? I'll sure be careful. Take it. Let me... No, no, let me down. Let me down. There, there. Oh, what? Oh. Well, I guess it's no use. The leg just won't hold me. All right, help me get my boot off then, huh? I'll take it easy. Oh. Looks me, looks me like it's broke, Mr. Dillon. Broke bad. Yeah. Look at my horse. Yeah. And he stepped in that hole and pitched all the way over, landed on his neck. He's dead, all right. Well, we can't stay here. Oh, maybe we can get you over to those trees. Come on, Cannon. Get this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, we better figure this out first. Now, look, when you get me to the trees, you ride on, Chester, and see if you can get help, huh? And if you don't meet up with anybody, you bring a wagon from Dodge, huh? Why, well, I ain't gonna leave you here, Mr. Dillon. Go in all night. It'd still take me two days to get back. We got no choice. Yeah, but what about him, Tan? He stays with me. But, Mr. Dillon... I'm gonna I... need somebody. And I got a gun. Well, I... Look, we haven't got any choice, Chester. Now, will you get me over to the trees? All right, you can tether his horse to me, and then you get going, huh? Well, 
All right, if you say so, but I sure don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about anything. Come on, let's go. Next time you stay inside all the way, Callum. Just filling your canteen at the creek, Marshal. You just stay inside, that's all. Marshal, a man with a leg like yours, with a fever coming up, he ought to be glad of water no matter how it comes. I just want to be sure it does come. And I'm still watching. Here, Marshal. Have a sweet. Uh. Thanks. That leg didn't improve none overnight, did it? Not that much. Lying around waiting like this through most of the day, you're feeling pretty bad, ain't you, Marshal? Don't you worry about it. No, I ain't worrying, Marshal. I got time. I got plenty of time. Now, don't you count on me passing off before Chester gets back. Because you might get hurt if you do. I ain't counting on a thing, Marshal. Just waiting. That's all. Just waiting. Miss Kitty! Miss Kitty! My sister. I didn't think you would do back for a day or two. Miss Kitty, have you saw Doc anywhere? I've been up to his office, and he ain't there. Oh, he just went into Delmonico's there to get his supper. What's the matter, Chester? I can't stop to talk, Miss Kitty. i got to get Doc. It's about Mr. Dillon. Well, what about him? Well, he's hurt bad and way off there. Way off where? Out on the ferry. Two days ride oh. out. Doc? Doc? Well, when did you get back? There's trouble, Doc. Terrible well, trouble. Where is it, Chester? Where's Matt? He, he's out there on the plains, Doc, with a busted leg. Is he all alone? There's nobody but that murdering Hob Cannon. He's with him. Well, we better get to it, man. Now, can you take me there? That's what I come for. Well, you don't look too good yourself. You right all night, Chester? Well, sure I did, Miss Kitty. Come on, Doc. We ain't got no time to wait. Well, you're sure you can make it back there, Chester? Oh, it's rough sleeping in that rig of mine. I, I, I could take somebody else. Of course I can make it back there. Come on, Doc. Come on. All right, Chester. All right. <laughs> don't worry, Kitty. Matt's a strong man. I know, but you hurry just the same. <laughs> Callan, is that your move? Callan! Yeah, I am, Marshal. <laughs> I'm right here. What are you doing over here? You got on back of the fire. You thought I'd have a look at your leg, Marshal. Never mind my leg. Mm-hmm. All right. Mighty dark, though. I can't... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I had to kick you that way, Marshal. But I figured it was the only way to jolt you loose from that gun. I'll get you, Count. You'll never make it. I know. You won't ever get me. You're going to be just a corpse for that fool Chester to take back to Dodge. You're going to get me onto that horse you've been hanging on to. And I'm just going to kill you, Marshal. Ride right out of here. So long. Stop. Drop gun. I will shoot. What the devil are you doing here? I am Blue Horse. Blue Horse? Well, you're the runaway engine they're looking for. Hello, Blue Horse. I have been watching. Well, that's lucky for me. Listen, Blue Horse, you don't want to help him. He'll just turn you in. He was talking to the cavalry about you yesterday. He is my friend. Well, he can't be your friend. He's a lawman. He's got to turn you in. One day, he cut the rope of the white hunters from around my neck. I was a drunken hanging party. I remember. I owe you a life. I do not forget. Use your head, engine. This is different. You help me, I'll let you go. Never tell a soul. Well, you'll be scot-free. Too much talk. Well, I'm telling you... Build up fire. What? Build up fire. Heat water. What are you going to do, Blue Horse? Fix leg. Woman! 
Come out. She boils roots in water. Uh, you, you gonna pour that stuff down me? No. I will put it on leg. Draw fever out. Oh. I'd, I'd be much obliged. I give you your gun. Thanks, Blue Horse. You, you want to tie cannon up for me? I'm awful weak. You sleep. I will watch. Hometowns in America have a lot in common. And yet they're each one of a kind. Take, for example, Kansas City, Missouri. The pungent odor of the slaughterhouses is in the air. But that means fresh meat and the best steak town in the USA. They'll prove it to you at the Golden Bull Restaurant, where the bull on top now looks up at Millionaire's Hill. And the millionaires look down on the Missouri River, the rooftops of Kansas City, and the country's closest in downtown airport. Cats drugstores have that homey atmosphere, and the French fries are good there after school. If you're driving in Kansas City, you'll appreciate the good traffic control in straight streets. You can start at 4th or 5th downtown, cover Troost and Wyandotte Avenue, and reach the plaza up in the 60s where the bachelor guys and gals are and where the action is. And later wind up with a swank night in the terrace room at the Mule Bar. But if your hometown is Kansas City, you already know this. We only wanted to remind you, it's still there. sleep well. The sun has long been high. Yeah. Uh, Where's Cannon? The prisoner is safe. Oh. Well, it's more than he deserves. Woman, bring some food. Blue Horse, I I want you to thank her for me. I, I feel a lot better. Yes, your leg will heal. The fever is gone. You want water? Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Blue Horse. Tell me, what are you doing here? Why did you break out? Blue Horse is going back to the land of his people. Well, the army doesn't seem to want you to. I cannot live on the hard land with the dry wind. Blue Horse comes from the hunting people, the Pawnee. So you just picked up your wife and left, huh? It is for us to live under the northern stars. It's too bad the army doesn't see it that way. The government of the white man does not care that all Indians cannot live alike. The South is no good for the Pawnee. But I work for the government, Blue Horse. A wagon coming across the distance. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're coming for me. I am glad the marshal will be safe. Mr. Dillon? Mr. Dillon? Yeah, over here, Chester. Uh, hello, Doc. Oh, well, hi, Matt. Uh, now, let me take a look at that leg. All right. Ouch. Uh, Doc. Well, it looks like you've had some help, Mr. Dillon. Glad to see Cannon good and hog-tied over there. Uh, thanks to Blue Horse and the squaw, I wouldn't be here without them. Blue Horse? Well, Mr. Dillon, the Army's looking for him. Yeah, I know. Huh? Hey, take it easy, Doc. Oh, oh sorry, man. Say, your leg looks pretty good, man. Surprisingly good. I don't think you're going to have any trouble. Uh, Blue Horse and his woman said it. Just had some good nursing. Yeah, I can see that. Blue Horse... I am here. 
You understand that uh, I'm a man of the law. I understand. Well, I want you to do just what I say. Now, we'll be leaving soon. You and your squaw get on your horses. You are taking us with you? No. Now I'm sending you back. I want you to ride right out there. That way. Now, will you give me your word? You have the word of Blue Horse. All right, get going, then. We will ride. Goodbye, Marshal. Well, I've heard of ungrateful people in my time, but this beats all. You let him save your life, and then you send him back to be cooped up on the reservation. I did what I had to do, Doc. Well, I could have done something else. <laughs> you pointing the way and making that Indian promise to go there, and, and you know he'll keep his word. Yeah, I know he will. Hey, wait a minute, Doc. I just thought of it. Mr. Dillon pointed north. That reservation's not north, it's south. Huh? Well, by God, is <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Well, you made a mistake, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, I... I guess I did, Chester. How well do you know the history of your army? For example, do you know who the first chaplain was? He was the Reverend John Hurt. During the early days of the American Revolution, he served as chaplain of the 6th Virginia Infantry. Later, he became brigade chaplain. And finally, in 1790, he was appointed first chaplain of the United States Army. Thus, another page was added to the history of your United States Army. and directed by Norman MacDonald. Stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Featured in the cast were Parley Bear as Chester, Howard McNear as Doc, and Georgia Ellis as Kitty. George Walsh speaking. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story on Gunsmoke. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.